That's what God wants. He wants change. When, when we hear truth, uh, the response is change. The, res the response is not shouting. The response is not dancing. The response is change, change. They said, what should we do? What should we do? Now that we've heard the truth preached, now we should change. You know, in the traditional church, folks would, would go, they, they would enjoy uh, the preaching of sermons. And uh, sometimes if a person were not there, they'd ask the person, well, what, what do they preach about? Child, I don't know, but it was good. <laughs> and if you don't know what was preached about, how can you change into what you don't know if there is never anything that convicts you to change? And he, he talked about repenting and being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And notice the gift of the Holy Spirit is the seal of God in your life that lets you know that you are His. He seals us. He, you know how cattlemen would brand their cattle and it, would, it was an identifying mark that says these are my cattle because you know there was a farm down the road. And they had cattle that looked just like these cattle. And, you know, you know, when, when you know, I, I, don't, I can't look at, you know, all the dogs look like twins to me. I mean, if they have the same species, you know, I mean, I, I can't, you know, you see one German Shepherd and, and see another one. If they have the same color, <laughs> twins, <laughs> you know, they all look the same to me. So I can't tell them. I wouldn't know different cows. I mean, other you see weight differences, but otherwise, if you're a cow that's basically the same weight and size as another animal, I can't tell. I, don't, I wouldn't have known that, that these were my animals and these were yours, so they had to brand them. God brands his people. He brands his people. There's a mark that God puts uh, on us to let folks know that we are his. That, that mark is the seal of the Holy Spirit that is given to us that says these people belong to God because he has sealed us with his spirit. If you'll notice 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 21 and 22, it notices this. It says this, now he who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God who also has sealed us and given us the spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. He's given us the Spirit in our hearts as the guarantee. It is the proof that we are His, is that we have the Holy Spirit. He says, repent and be baptized and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He was really talking about the seal of the Holy Ghost in your life to let you know that you belong to Him. We are bought with a price and it's, it's the receipt that says we belong to God. We belong to God. 